<clears throat> What's up, Herd? My name is Aaron, and today I've got your market update. It is Friday, August 30th. Let's get on into the charts. Bitcoin has rolled over from the last couple of days, uh, getting all the way up to about $65,000 and all the way down to 58. Currently did dip into the 57s earlier today, and it looks like we have whale money rolling over right now. I do expect this to likely come down as far as 55,000, uh, possibly. Though we're sitting right on top of support here around 58,000 right now. I did want to show you the liquidation heat map. We did dip into a little bit of a liquidation zone. Whales have maybe dipped into the liquidity they needed to turn the market around, but we'll see how that goes over the next couple days. I do expect some volatility over the weekend as that is very common with low volume. Ethereum down 3% today, looking very similar to Bitcoin, sitting on top of support at 24.55 right now. Uh, whale money flow coming out of Ethereum pretty heavily at the moment, and I uh, do expect a bounce either here, possibly around 23.52, or even down as low as 21.22. As I said, when we flash crashed all the way down to 21.26, I do expect this wick to get candlesticked before we head into the next leg of this bull run, guys. As anticipation heads into the FOMC meeting in September, getting some lower interest rates possibly, I do think whales will push the price down as low as possible so they can get the best entries before we go into the next leg. BNB is holding steady right around 526, guys. I'm, I'm glad to see this as we haven't dipped quite as low as some of the other coins have. However, if we do see a flash crash, we would see prices back to $400. However, if we're going to uh, candlestick the previous wick here, we would need to come down to about $400 in order to make that happen. Solana dipping pretty low, looking similar to Ethereum, down 4.6% today. And uh, to get down to its lows, we would need to come down to about $110 on Solana. Though whale money flow does seem to be coming back into Solana right now, so we could see a potential reversal on this. Getting into the elephant money ecosystem, guys, we had a nice run over the last couple of days. We did rally from the floor around 29 cents up 30% to 37 cents, guys. Though we are seeing oil money flow continue out of trunk right now, I do see a reversal happening shortly, and I do think our floor should be around 28, 29 cents. Looking at our save.finance market, guys, we have 93% APR on these USDC deposits here. If you lock up USDC on the save.finance, you will get 93% uh, over the entire year. And eventually, I know that we will have some more liquidity coming into this, so you'll be able to lock up at a certain point in the future. One thing I did want to note is that we are getting some rewards boosted from Switchboard Orbs, which is the uh, Switchboard token. So if you're adding liquidity in the form of Trunk, you will be eligible for some Switchboard Orbs at some time in the future. If you're onboarding new people into the ecosystem, guys, make sure to refer them to this YouTube channel as we've got a lot of information on how to get into Trunk, especially on the Solana side. If you go to playlists here and then go to uh, Trunk Tutorials, we have some great tutorials on how to get into this ecosystem. Just go over to the right side of the column here. I recommend this getting started on Solana video where we talk about how to download the Phantom wallet and then get some soul tokens into that wallet and then get into Trunk through the Jupiter Exchange. The current play, guys, is to continue to DCA into Trunk using the swap limit or DCA function on the Jupiter Exchange, guys, especially if you're onboarding new people. And if you're in the BNB ecosystem, guys, I highly recommend getting your Trunk on the Pancake Swap and then using the Portal Bridge to bridge that over to Solana to take part in our save.finance lending market. We got an update from BT this morning, actually, so check out the pinned in the Elephant Money Telegram channel. And you can read the Medium article here for more specific information. But in general, the change is that you'll be able to compound this number or claim this number here, which I believe alleviates some of the confusion that we had regarding the UI inside of Futures. Just a couple days ago, I did put an extra $200 into my futures account and I was able to compound the entire bit of this compound notice. So we've changed the UI here to say what is ready to compound, which is the optimal or healthy range that was said before. Now I could only claim $12 out of this, but I can compound 46 and this is based on just a couple of days on my humble futures account. 
With that guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this. Monday is Labor Day, we'll see if I'm able to, uh, Monday is Labor Day and I should be able to give you a sneak peek into what we did at InvestFest. I'll be giving you mostly B-roll guys from that, but it will give you a behind the scenes look at how big the event was and possibly even who BT was talking to throughout the weekend. So look out for that. That will be coming Monday and then we'll get back to our normal market updates Wednesday and Friday next week. Have a great day. God bless.